Yo, this is good YouTuber. Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Pink Diamond Shaquille O'Neal. This card is going to be obviously phenomenal. I think he's the best inside in the game. I played against uh, my boy Nike, a competitive player last night who had Shaq, played him twice, and I was like, oh, wow, this uh, Shaq card is really, really good. I mean, even compared to the other insides, he feels really special he is a very very elite card in my team um the best inside in the game and just a glitchy dominant force like a slightly better wilt is basically what i would call this card uh, which is still he can't shoot the ball so that's something you have to keep in mind but if you are a skilled offensive player and you know how to use it inside this is arguably the best center in the game if you're not as good with insides and you're gonna they're gonna get paint sat on not quite as effective but he's definitely gonna have a big impact on anybody who gets him on their team now super expensive card so keep that in mind wouldn't really recommend paying for him but he's gonna be a dog and i'm excited to try him out before we hop into it, if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 40,000 subscriber mark on the channel I'm uploading every single day tons of consistent daily my team content would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe and a massive shout out to my boy liam for letting me use his account to record this gameplay without further ado let's hop right into it Shaq is 7 1 92 offense 99 defense everything about him offensively besides post trade mid-range and three ball is great and i guess free throw too but he's an incredible dunker great driving layup elite post hook uh elite close shot of course 97 block 97 interior 83 steel and perimeter not bad at all 97 rebounding obviously insane as well 87 speed and agility 79 vert 92 strength not, sorry 92 vertical 99 strength he is a tank on the inside. 10 Hoffs, 10 gold badges. Did he add any badges? He did. He added on ball menace, challenger, lightning launch, break start, and off ball pass. That's actually a pretty good set of badges to add to Shaq. I wouldn't really waste your time with shooting badges. Also got Hoff Rise Up, post lockdown, box up, beast, rebound chaser, brick wall, uh, immovable enforcer, post powerhouse, paint patroller, gold posterizer, hook specialist. Um, he added a couple defensive badges, which are smart, high flying denier, silver interceptor, and on ball menace as well on bronze. Would upgrade on ball menace to gold if you could, and then uh, also upgrade that interceptor. But overall, really good card very very good card this dude's team by the way is really good he's got a bunch of pink diamonds locked in a pink diamond chauncey billups as well um and look i mean just look at Shaq, bro he's so athletic and so versatile he's gonna be a yes he's an inside big but he is going to be a dominant inside big dunk everything around the rim rebound everything do everything now can he shoot well he can hit a mid-range that's about it I mean, not going to hit the mid-range at a super high level either because his release just isn't very good. But he's really, I mean, 25 three ball, you're not hitting from the three-point line. I don't feel like even with, like, rhythm shooting or with um, being consistently, I mean, I'm on rookie now, so I might. But the way his shot is, is just like, that, that, that I'm not going to, okay, he made it on rookie. I think that might have been a mid-range, actually. But the tempo, I'm, I'm, I don't know the tempo on his, um, his rhythm shot there. Oh, there we go. We green one. It's on rookie, but did green one corner three. The thing about this card is on higher difficulties, I think you're going to have a really hard time shooting with him no matter how you shoot. But around the rim, he is going to be a dominant force. And uh, that's going to, I mean, he kind of moves glitchy too. That's going to be tough to match up with, if nothing else. Um, so Shaq's going to be, I think he's the best inside in the game right now is what I will say. But his jumper's janky and he's not really a real shooter. So keep that in mind. I think it limits how expensive he's worth or how much MT I should say that he is worth. But that doesn't mean he's not an elite level card. And I'm excited to try him out. So without further ado, top into a game see what big shack can do bro i don't know what to tell y'all i load into a showdown game i guess it's because he doesn't have any wins but this is the second game i've loaded into already i quit the first one i can't quit the second one and the team we match up against is just not very good so maybe this guy will quit fast and we can get ourselves a better team but i guess it's because he doesn't have any wins in showdown so this dude probably i guess liam is mostly an offline player um which is totally fine but I just think I would like to match up against a better team. That's why we're in showdown to use Shaq. And yet, unfortunately, we're going up against a team with amethysts and rubies. Like, that's just not... It's not the matchup I'm really looking for, but I can't keep quitting games and searching for new ones because 2K will ban me. It's the most annoying part about quit bans for me personally is the fact that it doesn't allow me to match up against good teams when I'm trying to match good teams for gameplays and stuff. But it is what it is. Um, we're going to do the best we can with Shaq, and we're going to come out here and dominate because this dude's team is not going to be able to compete with him, plain and simple. So he's going to come out and dominate. That I can tell you with confidence. Catch and dunk immediately Shaq on the inside. If he gets ahead of steam at the rim at all, he's dunking every single ball, which is uh, – that's a great – that's a very good thing. I think he's going to dunk as good as anybody. He's going to rebound as good as anybody. He's going to defend as good as anybody. His feet – I mean, he's going to move super fast. He's going to do everything you could pretty much possibly ask a card to do. 
maybe this guy will quit early and we can just get ourselves another game and potentially match up with a better squad but uh we'll have to wait and see on that one guard the dribble drive fence carter misses the layup and we get ourselves a stop and we're running out in transition throw it up to shack shack to the rim he gets stripped by donovan mitchell i guess so i guess if there's one thing he doesn't have it's a high ball handle rating so i guess that's gonna happen um let's just keep playing defense and let's just see, keep, keep seeing what we can do man rotate oh i have the wrong i'm on the wrong guy swing to the hash you shot that why would you ever shoot that let's run the floor come on Shaq. push the ball in transition get to the rim blow by Shaq inside at one yes sir look at Shaq attacking the rim and just this is not even really a fair matchup he is just going to absolutely decimate there is nothing you can really do Marcus Gasol does not have the speed to keep up his free throw at least is ugly though but it's pretty fast so keep that in mind um definitely feels pretty ugly uh which i guess isn't a huge shocker it's Shaq. he's got a low free throw rating his free throw release is ugly he's not going to be the best free throw shooter in the world but if you get the timing down on it just like any other free throw you should be able to at least get it to be decently high percentage most of the time throw it up to Shaq again attack and transition hop step through finish at the rim and it's just too easy for him to this point eight points already for Shaq and this is just one of those where you're just I don't think you're going to be able to compete with him really we're going to use him as a lob threat I think a little bit in this game as well just see what we can do in in that in that respect Ca he catches in the corner I didn't even mean to jump we get a contest there beautiful stuff and we get ourselves another stop please just quit early bro this game's over you know what I mean like you, you don't have a chance I'm not even trying to be rude but okay wow holy crap Marcus Saul let me shut up because what in the world he just dogged me that was kind of nasty. I'm not even going to lie. Push the ball out and again, Shaq attack the rim. Chill. Let's get it to T-Mac and let's get a pick and roll going here. Slip the screen. Throw the lob. Shaquille O'Neal finishes at the rim. Beautiful stuff. And he's got 10 points already. That is a very fast, very high uh, high quality start. He is He's out here hooping already. No doubt about it. Um, let's stay low here. If you want to shoot with D-Rose, you can. That's fine. I dare you to attack Shaq in the paint. He won't do it. Hey, this dude has he's got nothing so far which isn't a huge shocker but i would i would like you to quit that'd be nice hop step nope chill reset again and we're gonna go right back into this pick and roll and we're gonna swoop the screen again and we're gonna do the same thing we did last time throw a lob oh they didn't let me throw the lob that time don't matter Shaq dominated on the inside he's gonna finish that anyway you can't stop this card with real consistency on the inside unless you have just the elite, elite defensive cards. And even then, his speed and versatility and strength and all that type of stuff is just going to really turn him into a very almost impossible to handle card, I think, in a lot of ways. Uh, at least for the vast majority of cards. Like, I guess Kareem Wilt, Dwight, maybe. Guys like that that are true fast inside bigs can definitely compete but I think he's the best pure inside in the game. Like, he just has so much speed and so many good animations. Y'all, I'm sure y'all remember Diamond Shaq last year and how dominant that card was early in the year. That's kind of what this card is. There's just more options to compete with him this year. So maybe he's the best pure inside still, but he's a little bit less overpowered i guess i would say compared to previous years that was a bad job by me i reached and i let him pass the ball in and get into a good standing dunk spot that was just bad defense honestly but he may not be quite as efficient as he's been in previous years i'm shooting a rhythm shot three i don't care okay well the tempo was too fast there i don't know his shot is just janky man even if you're rhythm shooting i think it's going to be tough to shoot his shot but um i mean i just think with a 25 three ball you're gonna have a really tough time scoring but 14 points and four rebounds in the first quarter yes not against the best team again i'm sorry i really wish i could match up with a better team but i can't quit another game because i'll get a quit man um either way dominant first quarter shaq's looking like a monster I don't know what to tell y'all, y'all. This dude's team is just not very good. There's only so much we can do about it. Throw the backdoor lob to Shaq again. Can you throw a better lob? That is such a bad lob. I, honestly, he kind of probably could have caught it, but the animation took me out of it. I didn't even have a chance to catch the lob. That was not the ideal lob that we were looking for, but I, this is not a good matchup for you. I don't care that we be 7-4. That's a terrible... Never mind. It's a great matchup. Great take. W offense. Um... Quick slip the screen again, Shaq to the rim again, throw the lob again. That time it's there, and that time it's an easy dunk. Beautiful stuff. Shaquille O'Neal with 16 points, four rebounds, just dominating on the inside as you would expect, uh, doing everything except for, I guess, he just gave up that bucket there. But besides that, he is having himself a game. You drove into Shaq's paint and expected that to work? Absolutely not. Run the floor, half rebound chaser again. He's out in transition. He's going to the baseline, getting that post. Yup. Oh, he's tired. That's fine. We're going to reset. We're going to reset and let him get a little bit of stamina back. I'm not even in freelance. Who needs a freelance, honestly? Quick slip the screen again. Shaq, catch, layup, finish. I mean, it's not a fair matchup, right? But he is decimating, as he should, exceedingly efficient, finishing everything around the rim. 
and just showing off what he can do as per normal. I'm really loving what I'm seeing out of this card so far, which shouldn't be a huge surprise, but he is out here hooping. There's no doubt about that. Uh, I don't know what else I want to see out of the card, though, because we know what he is, right? He's basically just Wilt slash Dwight slash Andre Drummond. Inside big, but better. You know what I mean? He's a little bit stronger than all those guys. Wilt's probably the one that I would say is close in terms of animations and stuff, but... If y'all play against this Shaq or have used him, he's he's a he's a menace. He really is. That's I don't think there's anything else to really say about it than that. Is he worth one million MT or whatever he's going for right now? Absolutely not. That's that's way too much MT. But that doesn't take away from the fact that he is as good as it gets at the um, at the center spot in my team. Pretty much. Like I think if you were ranking the top centers in the game for me and my play style, I don't think I'd have Shaq obscenely high because I don't love insides personally. But if you like to use an inside big, he's the best one in the game. He's just too expensive to justify his price right now, in my opinion. Um, and so, very good card. Not a very attainable card because of how rare he is and how expensive he is. Um, and that's the shame about most of these pink diamonds this year. And so I will never have Shaq because I would never pay that much MT for an inside big personally. But I think there are people out there who pulled him or bought him and are going to absolutely love the card. I mean, look what he is doing as a finisher around the rim. Catching another lob and contact Duncan on Vince Carter's face. Like, he's a dog, bro. There's no doubt about it. He is an absolute dog on the inside. Elite, elite rebounder, elite finisher. Probably not much post game to him, but if you if you like the post hook, he's got a 97 post hook or something like that. So it's not like he can't do it. Um, I just can't believe this guy hasn't quit, to be completely honest at this point. He has no chance of winning, but unfortunately, it is what it is. This is why I need 2K to remove quit bans, man, so I can quit a game that's against a bad team and get a gameplay against a better squad. Like, I would really like to be able to do that, but unfortunately, I don't really have that option. I want to shoot this mid range. If you'll just back up just a little bit, I'm shooting it. Is that green? That is not green. His jumper is hideous, by the way. I don't know how to time it. Like, it's it's ugly, especially in in-game. It is very ugly. So don't expect him to be any sort of shooter at all because that he will not be doing, not even at a high level, just at any level, to be completely honest. So let's get him one more dunk, and then we're going to finish out the gameplay. Um, unfortunately, yes, I know, not as, not as high-powered of an offense they're playing against as y'all probably would like, but Shaq is doing it all, man. Hoff brick wall. He's catching lobs. 22 points, 5 rebounds, 11 of 14 from 3. The card is, or 11, 14 from the field, sorry, and I think two of the three misses were from the outside um, on jump shots, so he's a dominant force. There's no doubt about it. Hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.